Chris Les here with Rudimental Gardening. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, short video here. I just wanted to put an update on my uh, rainwater harvesting tank. Uh, I've been waiting for a good rain and we had a cool front blow through night before last and we got about an inch and a quarter of rain. So I thought I'd take a look at the uh, tank and see how much water uh, filled up in the tank. So let's take a look. Um, get over here and undo the uh, cover so we can get a good look at it. Okay, so take a look at the tank here and we got, uh, looks like right at 900 liters, which uh, is about, oh, 237 gallons. You can see between 200 and 250 there, so about two thirds of the way. So 237 out of uh, one and a quarter inch of rain. So that's pretty good. Um, if you look at the roof here, you can see uh, from this valley over, and I don't think I can get the whole side here, but down that side of the roof, uh, all of that drains over here. So it's a, it's a little bit, you know, I wasn't sure how much was actually going to get in this length of gutter. I know this downspout over here gets a lot of water because it gets this whole side of the roof plus the front side there and it just collects a lot of more water so I did uh, get the overflow put in so it uh, seems to work pretty good uh, I had to test it out but uh, we're supposed to get some rain this weekend so uh, if we get as much as we got this time obviously it's going to overflow so got a two inch pipe coming out that uh, reduces down to a one inch and that just goes behind there comes out and then goes all the way down drains in the back of the house uh, by the driveway in the back so it won't uh, pool so much around here you can see water drains out right through here you can see where the gutter used to be downspout used to come out right there and it would just flood through here of course, uh, all the rain is still going to pool there, but it drains off pretty good. But anyway, just want to give an update on this. So if you've been uh, contemplating, if you want to put one of these in, I would highly recommend it. So now all I have to do is get my uh, spigot put on here, and I'm going to do a separate video on that. So, so the uh, water harvesting tank has been a success, and uh, time to move on to the next project. Thanks for watching.